Hey, what's up cats and kittens? Shout out to all my Cerebralites. It's me, the Cerebral Diva, back with another episode of In The Loop. And in today's episode of In The Loop, we're going to be discussing a jaw-dropping moment that happened on last night's episode of Survivor. If you're like me, you're probably in shock that the show Survivor is actually still on television, and indeed it is. I'm not sure if it's season 3000, 3001, or what, but I swear the show has been on TV since I was in diapers. So anyhow, last night was probably the episode of all episodes, and we've seen some, some pretty insidious things happen on the show. Um, I'm trying to think of the character's name who who um, lied about their mother or grandmother being dead. I can't think of that. So we saw that. We've seen the villain Richard Hatch. You know, we've seen some pretty shady characters on this show. But I think last night was sort of the coup de, coup de gras of shadiness. And that moment came courtesy of Varner. Now, Varner was on the chopping block and he knew that his time was coming to an end. And in an act of desperation, he thought that, hey, who can I throw, throw under the bus? I know who. My friend. <laughs> my, his friend being Zeke Smith. Now, unbeknownst to the rest of the cast members, Zeke had disclosed some very personal information to Varner. And Varner used that information last night in an act of desperation to, to foster trust and and hopefully save himself from 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 elimination from being voted off the island what was the information you might ask um well varna disclosed that zeke smith is transgendered now the fantastic thing about last night if there's any silver lining in the deception it's the humanity that you saw from the fellow cast members. The way the cast members rallied around Zeke and came to his defense and fought vigorously and vociferously on his behalf was, I don't know, it was one of those things that made me very emotional because in the world that we live in today, you know, we see so much with the division that's happening amongst races. We see the HB2 bill in North Carolina where they're trying to prevent people from using bathrooms. You know, we see just a lot of hate and a lot of division that's happening in our society. And in that moment last night, I didn't see one person other than Varner who didn't exemplify what it means to be a good person. And that did my heart a, a world of good. It, it, it really did. Because I don't think that Varner understands that he basically put a price tag on Zeke's privacy, on, on Zeke's future. And that price tag was $1 million. Because what might seem like a moment to Varner is going to have long-term repercussions for Zeke moving forward in terms of his love life, in terms of the jobs or career that he has. I mean, that is going to crescendo throughout every aspect of his life. Not that it hasn't already, but now it's going to be done in a much more public way. And he basically overnight turned Zeke into a figurehead, if you will, for the LGBT community. So at this point, whether he, whether Zeke wanted to be or not, he's he sort of become sort of a reluctant activist based on the fact that he wasn't given the opportunity or the chance to tell his own story. And I think that that's what a lot of people need to understand. I don't care if it's a friend who's disclosed that they've lost their virginity, a friend that's disclosed that they've cheated on their husband or that their husband has cheated on them, a friend who is sick with cancer, a friend who's having financial problems. If your friend comes to you and entrusts, not, not just your friend, if someone, anyone close to you comes to you and entrusts you with some very personal information, it's incumbent upon you to respect the trust that has been afforded to you. And by respect, I mean keeping your damn mouth closed. There's just certain things that you do not do. And I don't think that Varner knows that it's not just about affecting 
Varner's day-to-day -day existence in terms of jobs and and housing and all of the things where discrimination could per discrimination does permeate our society. It's also a safety issue. We see synagogues and mosques and you know all of these sort of um, institutions that represent minor minority groups being targeted. We see Dylan Roof going into church and shooting black people to start a race war. You know, by outing Zeke in that moment, it, not, it wasn't just sort of some innocuous moment. You really put his life in danger to some degree because now he has to, to go through life with the knowledge of knowing or with the understanding of knowing that he needs to be aware or alert at all times because his secret is no longer safe. And I think that was a very unfair and a very insensitive thing for Varner to do. So anyhow, you guys, I really don't want to drag this uh, out any longer. If you haven't seen the show, uh, definitely at the very least check out that particular moment. I'm sure there's clips all over line. I will try to find one and post it in the description box so that you can see it for yourself. Um, I don't want to violate any copyright laws on YouTube. They're real serious about it these days. So um, just to make sure that my account stays on the free, stays free and clear, um, I'll try to post the link so you can uh, help yourself to it there. Anyhow, you guys, it's always in close and remember to live better love harder, and think smarter. It is me, the Cerebral Diva, signing off. I will talk to you guys later. But before you go, remember to like, to comment, and definitely subscribe. All right, you guys, I'll talk to you soon.